This New Day cooking segment brought to you by Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, powered by Electrolux. Thank you. Thank you to our studio audience. If you guys get bored, just talk amongst yourselves. All right. Uh, just in time for spring, a new cookbook takes a fresh approach to Vietnamese cooking. Vegetarian Vietnam brings to life recipes handed down for centuries through Mahayana Buddhist monks. The author is a chef who's traveled the world and cooked for royalty, including the Emperor and Empress of Japan and Queen Elizabeth herself, to name just a few. Please welcome chef and author Cameron Stauk. Hi, Cameron. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Did I get your name right? You did. I, I took German, so I know, you know, it should be actually Stauch. Right? Yeah, no, it's very, yeah. very correct, but it's <laughs> I, from 1850. Oh, right, okay. It came so, to Canada yeah, in 1850. Right. You can change it once you're yeah, Canadian. Yeah, exactly. Right? So what are we making today? So today we are going to make a lemongrass uh, chili sautéed mushrooms. Nice. You can normally excellent. do it with tofu okay. or some, sometimes people have those uh, mock meats, like uh, they have those um, fake chicken sure. that some is in some stores. So you, would you add that in addition to all this? No, so in like in place in Instead of the um, mushrooms, oh, you can okay, have tofu sure. or the, the right. chicken. So I thought that uh, we should get you uh, going today. You think I can maybe give it a shot? I think so. Okay. I, you know, the, a lot of the recipes are really simple and straightforward. Yeah. So we've got some oil, so all you right. can just put that all in there. Okay, just the whole thing. Right. Yep. Here we are. And then uh, I'll take that from you. Okay. And then uh, we'll just let it heat up. Okay. Um, so we've got some uh, finely chopped lemongrass. Okay, two stalks. I love lemongrass. It's great. And the yeah. thing I like about this recipe is that you put the lemongrass in, the right. garlic, it starts, to, it just perfumes the right. kitchen. Sure. So like, this is kind of a cheat way to like make it, you know, get people into the kitchen. Right. And they're like, oh, what's for dinner? Or if you're trying to sell your house, maybe. I think, the I think the baked good stuff oh, is okay, still right, good. Sure, okay. You can maybe use the, uh, you know, the citronelle, which is r yeah, relative sure. to okay. lemongrass for the, the wash. Oh, I didn't know it was relative. Cool. It is, yeah. So you okay. think this is ready? I think so. Let's go around a little bit. You throw that in. Give it a shot. Yeah. There we are. Right, it sounds like it's going. I hear the sizzle. Yeah, yeah, it's getting there. So you can just give yeah, that a stir quick that stir. I'll put it up on high for today. So we're just going to want to cook this for, uh, you know, about 30 seconds to a minute. Just oh, get it going. Cool. Quick. And then we're going to add in some, I'm using oyster mushrooms today, but you could use quartered busher, okay. button mushrooms or chopped up portobello Whatever mushrooms. Whatever you like, right? Yeah, as long as they're kind of in bite-sized pieces. Okay. That's the key. Okay. It's already browning. Yeah, browning no, it's nicely. already kind of All like right. lightly browning there. Now we'll just dump nice, that in. Nice. So I was going to do that. But well, uh, I'm helping whatever. you. We're a team. Uh, well, yeah, that's we're right. a team. I'm just the sous chef. Just, yeah. That's true. So like, <laughs> but mind you, I should have just let it let it be. <laughs> so um, we're just going to saute those for uh, a couple minutes and let those go. And hey, just, so I have a few questions for you. In yeah, a couple sure. Minutes. Yeah. What kind of drew you to the this this Buddhist way of cooking? How, how did the, the Buddhist well, monk thing get into your cooking? Sure. Yeah. Well, my uh, my wife's a Canadian diplomat. Uh -huh. So uh, we've lived in different countries around the world, and so from 2012 to 15, we lived in Vietnam. She was posted oh, cool. there. So we moved there with our family. Uh, at, my kids were, uh, when, by the time we left, they were 12 mm -hmm. and 7. What a great experience for them. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. And interestingly, my son became, uh, he was at the age of four, decided to be, become vegetarian. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So give those a good four. start. Give those a good oh, start. Oh, more stirring. Yeah, okay. or you can even, you know, if you want to practice. Make sure you tell me what to do. Oh, no, no, no. do this a little bit? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> um, okay, now put it down. It's not heating up now. Come on. Oh, sorry. Like, we I'm got it. We got too, time. You know, the, the dancing yeah, yeah, is getting yeah. fun there. Yeah. You know, don't lift it off the heat. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um... So he became uh, a vegetarian, and then it's when I was as a four-year-old. Well, he just decided one right. day. I don't know what it was. He was hanging out with the monks, probably. Not yet. Oh, okay. Not yet. All right. And then when I worked in Canada, I worked at Rideau Hall, where I cooked for the Governor General. So uh -huh. it's like working at the White House. Oh wow! And my job there That's was cool. the, to make dietary restrictions if someone was vegetarian or vegan. Right. I would make their food. So I was already oh, thinking yeah. so you were that getting way. That often. Right? I was already thinking that way uh, when I got to Vietnam. And then I, I heard about that there was a subset of Vietnamese food that was uh -huh. vegetarian. Right. And so most of the lay Buddhists, so you're looking at 9, 10% of the population, will eat vegetarian to the moon, cycle of the moon. Okay. So it's kind of like Fridays and fish with Catholics. Sure, sure. They will eat vegetarian to the new moon and the full moon. So that's one trick that if you go uh -huh. to Vietnam and you're traveling there, Pay attention to the lunar cycle. So okay. Let it stay oh, like that. Stay. Too much stirring. No, yeah, now we want to get it kind of a good nice, the a nice then... golden brown. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and so you want to pay attention to that. So once I learned about this, I then wanted to find out more about uh, 
you know, where the food comes from. So I'd spend time cooking with monks and nuns and in their kitchen, oh, learning about mindful eating, yeah. mindful cooking. But then it was also spending time in the markets, right. learning from the, the street food ladies. That's really cool. Did, yeah. you, did you find like some of these dishes here? What do we have here? In, in yeah, here? okay, I'll get to those. Oh, okay. Because we're now... It's oh, like, it's time. It's so time. let's throw, I'll throw in some chili. Nice, okay. Looks like not too much chili, just a little dash. It's one right. bird eye chili. Okay. But it gives a good heat because... Stir it? Stir, give All it a right. stir. There we go. Um, it, it gives a good heat because yeah. we've got some, uh, we've left the seeds in as we chopped it. <coughs> Whoa, some, yeah, yeah, some yeah, of the heat yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just some of that pepper yeah, got yeah, Exactly. Whoa, okay, all right. Now pour that in. That is okay. some water. Yeah. Some water. Here, I'll take over. I'm not experienced. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Okay. No novices. Yeah, Once the chili well, right? goes, it's the novices. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that's we're just, great. we're Does just. Is the queen like this, by the way? Queen Elizabeth? I think there's too much heat for the queen. Oh, okay. You know, right. so I, I've cooked for actually three generations of the royal Prince family. Prince William and Kate as well, right? William and Kate wow. and Prince Charles and Camilla. Were there any special requests they made that were interesting? Um, you know, uh, Prince Charles is really interested in organic food and huh. where his food comes from. He has his label, Dutchies uh, right. Organics. Um, so he's really interested in that. Um, you know, their, their family is like all of our families where the, uh, the elder generation wants something more plain and simple. Sure. And then... Uh, Charles was Bangers a little and bit mash probably for the older generation. I, yeah, <laughs> you know, honestly, like for breakfast, perhaps. You right. Know? Yeah. Okay. And then um, for Will and Kate, when they came, they just said, "Give us, give us anything. We we love everything." Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, so open. So I just threw in some coriander, some cilantro at the end. I love cilantro. And then I forgot some uh, lime, so we're gonna just use lemon. You just give it a little squeeze. A close cousin to the lime. Yeah, right? it gives you the same kind of yeah, citrusy. Sure. And then uh, you know that's it, and you can see how quickly that was done. Yeah. You know, you can use this um, just with some rice and some stir-fried vegetables, or um, you know the banh mi sandwich. Mm -hmm. You know, you could use yeah. that as the filling. Right. Um, so if you're vegetarian and uh, you know you uh, don't want the meat, you yeah. can do that, or with tofu. Um, and so these here, these Ooh, are some yeah. leaf rolls. Leaf rolls. So okay. lassinado kale. Normally they use mustard leaves, but in the grocery stores here we get lassinado kale, so it has the rice uh, noodles, some cabbage and carrots in there, and a nutty peanut sesame uh -huh. sauce. Nice. And then this is a, a young jackfruit salad. Oh, jackfruit. So jackfruit is becoming a, a new, um, you know, vegan meat. Yeah, I saw you know, that on the menu. People at, are doing it with like pork. Yeah, and totally. So this in, in Vietnam is kind of mimicking pork or, or mm -hmm. chicken. Um, and it's just so, so fresh and vibrant, and it's got a good substance to it. Um, oh, that's beautiful. And the great thing about the salads, like, uh, they're great entry points because they're so summery and they're quick to assemble and great layering of flavors. So something crispy and crunchy and then you get the nuttiness from the shallots or the peanuts or the sesame seeds yeah. and then the herbs. Right. And the herbs are really important, you know. Um, for the herbs, you might have to go to, uh, if you want specific ones, to a vegetarian grocer. Sure, sure. Like here in Seattle, there's Viet Hoa. Uh -huh. um, I've seen that place. Yeah, yeah. and it's great. It, like, and everything's nicely labeled there, which right. I really like. Labels are good. Yeah. Well, sometimes you go into the uh, uh, Chinese or Asian grocer and it just says herbs, herbs, right. herbs, <laughs> herbs. And you're like, well, thanks, well, Kevin. Yeah. This is great. R really fascinating stuff. I can't wait to try some of the stuff in your book. And actually, we posted some of the recipes for th uh, this delicious dish and others on our website, along with links to Chef's uh, the awesome cookbook, the brand new book. So uh, you want to check that out. We will be right back and now we can eat. Right? Great. Yeah. Thank you.